we got nothing but fog recently last time we went fishing we was in the fog today we're in the fog again so gonna put a jerk bait on crank bait on we're on the original small little local lake today so i think this is the first lake i ever went to and called it a small little local lake so that's what we're gonna try to do today catch us some spotted bass big large mouth whatever seems to bite today in this lake but hopefully catch some more cranking i want to catch them on a jerk bait though i really i like throwing a jerk bait hopefully they'll bite it today we can catch a couple so let's tie one on get us a rock crawler tied on see if we can't bend a pole or two let's roll all right mixed stick 95 clear chartreuse what is a little bit more stained than i was kind of anticipating today so we're gonna put this on a clear chartreuse one this one will give us a good contrast in the water we'll be able to make sure the fish are at least seeing it what about that think that'll catch you one i think it will Then we're going to take, oh, wrong rod. This is the rod this goes on. Okay. Mm. So we're going to change out our Fat Papa 55 for a rock crawler. Never thrown this color rock crawler before. Got some green pumpkin on back, but it's got some bright orange almost like a burn orange on bottom pretty good pretty though some blue on top i think it'll I think it'll get a bite or two water may be a, just a head clear pad clear for it but i think it'll get us a bite oh i thought i had a bite already it must hit just hit a little rock perfectly Got us like a little algae bloom, or I think it actually comes off the pine trees. It's not actually an algae bloom, but I'm not 100% sure. We got some green stuff, looks like pollen floating around. Let's see what's up. See if that hurts the bite or not. All right, we out here burning up some of these shallow, flat clay and scattered chunk rock and gravel rock banks trying to find exactly where these fish are haven't had a bite yet no bites at all probably about to have to relocate a little bit and uh maybe fish some steeper stuff some bluffier stuff maybe fish some uh maybe maybe target a little more wood i don't know i did skip some docks also y'all might have seen that might not have seen that but i skipped some docks fish a lot of flat stuff fished a decent amount a little bit bigger bigger chunkier rock also no bites nobody's doing anything don't know if it's a time of day deal don't know if they're just maybe they pulled current all night and there's no current now so the fish ain't set up the way they need to be set up not really sure but I'm gonna give this a little while longer one of the problems with this exact small little local lake is look at the bank there's not a whole lot of stuff to throw at and the few places there are good things to throw at get a lot of pressure and i mean a lot of pressure so for the most part you got to mix in some of this stuff some of the better looking stuff in order to stay around some fish because pressure gets to them bad here all right now mix stick 95 fetch fetch me a bass There we go. God, I got him hooked funny. Right under the boat, too. Good 
Come on, sucker. <laughs> See if we can get him. I think we're gonna get him. We got him kind of hog tied. Come here, fella. <laughs> I got him hooks funny, so it's harder to get him than normal. It's hard to pull him, too. Here we go. I don't like swinging them when I got them hooked in the belly like this because a lot of times it'll actually rip. Like if you swing them, it'll like rip it up through here, and I just didn't. I just don't like doing that, you know? Try to make it as painless as possible for the old fish. Pretty little spotted bass. Hard to beat just how pretty they are. Wasn't a big one. It's the first fish I've touched today, so. We'll take it. Oh, about took the rod out of my hand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, about took the rod out of my hand. Love this rod right here. This is a 6.9 medium light. Extra fast, point blank. Perfect jerk bait rod. All right, come on over here. Uh-oh, I feel like he's about to jump again. Got him. Look at that. One hook in the nose. Mm. Another pretty little spotted bass. Two casts in a row. Let's get us another one. Not extremely sure what them two are actually even sitting on. You know, you can't see under the water. Man, it's hard to believe I caught two casts in a row. They made three casts with no bites. Don't make a lot of sense to me. Oh, right there. Two of them. Three of them. Right at the boat. Followed it up. Don't you fall off of there. Nice little spot on the old jerking plug. That's why I wanted to catch them on today. Old jerk bait. Don't really know why I wanted to catch them on it. I don't know if it's because of the, just the light line. It's a technique I haven't really caught them on that good lately. The rod is so light, just such, so different. So unique to what I'm normally doing, which is casting a jig, winding a vibrating jig, spinner bait, square bill, a lot more power fishing stuff. This is a lot more, I guess you could consider it more power fishing, but it's really kind of finessey. Especially when you factor in the equipment you use. There's one. God, he's hot too. <laughs> Come on, little buddy, chill out. Little one. You know, though, he's close to being a keeper. Probably close, but I don't think he'll make it. 11 inch, 11 and a half. I done made that same cast about, I don't know how many times, four. Then I threw like five feet further right, which put it on the outside of that brake line. That's where I caught him. 
so I've been throwing consistently too shallow on about a four pound spot big giant spot for this lake this small little local lake's got small little local spots in it so three pounder it's a real big one four pounder freaking giant so obviously we're out here throwing a dang jerking plug today and i know there are a million jerk baits on the market seems like and i'll tell you why i want to throw this one in this type of situation because this bank as y'all seen today is extremely flat there's very little contour changes close to the bank most of the contour changes are you know out offshore pretty good bit so what i'm trying to do is throw this jerk bait up around the contour changes that are there and like i said there's not very many of them so this mixed stick jerk bait hangs in place a whole lot longer than other brands do some jerk baits have a lot more of a wider jerk and they pull further this mixed stick because of the size of the bill on this bait it actually stays in place and creates a lot of flash and it doesn't jerk super far at any time so if i throw it up there over a little contour change i know i can jerk it for i mean probably 15 or 20 times without I even moving it seven or eight feet so that's that's one of the reasons that i chose this exact jerk bait in this situation because there's not much that you want to actually throw at and whenever i'm in that situation i want to make sure my bait hangs there and you know for the longest amount of time possible on to the next spot uh oh There's one. Oh God. Oh Lord. First largemouth I've ever hooked right here. Caught a lot of fish right here. They all been spots. Holy crap. It's a dang old biggin. Let's go ahead and grab him. He ain't that big, but he's good. Mm -hmm. Look at that one. Pretty one. I mean, the absolute first largemouth I've ever caught off this place in this three and three quarter pounder. I don't think he's a four, but he's three and three quarters, probably. Look at that sucker. Yes, sir. There's one. So what we did right here is I really felt like the fish were swimming a long way to come get the bait today. I don't know how to explain that other than it's just how i feel whenever they bite it i feel like they're coming from a long way to get it so that means if the fish are coming from that long of a distance to get it and i haven't caught that many obviously i'm not fishing around very many of them so i just went to a very obvious place big long rip rat bank and just said we'll throw a dang jerk bait down this sucker because i feel like it's the bait to be throwing and we call us a nice little spot of bass so that's one of the kind of the adjustment that i just made was i felt like they're pretty aggressive I felt like they're really chasing it pretty good but i'm just not getting enough bites but the bites i am getting are telling me that they're aggressive they're chasing a lot they're they're you know coming from, they feel like they're coming from a long ways to get it so i really wanted to uh go to a place where i just knew for sure i was fishing around some fish so that's what i kind of did right here is just went to an obvious place where there's definitely going to be a couple of fish living and we got us a bite you put it in front of enough of them you'll get a bite on whatever it is you're throwing we're gonna fish prior to that point down there see if we can't get us a bite we get us one more bite 
call it a day. Go cook up some dinner for me and Miss Hunter. And relax. Maybe we get us another bite though. There's another one. Feels like a good one there. I ain't really turned him yet at all. Can't see him under all this algae stuff. I mean, I ain't even budged him. Oh, he ain't that big. He's a pretty little spot though. Got him hooked good. Looks like got two hooks in him. Got 10 pound test. I ain't retired in a while. I'm just gonna grab him. Even though it don't weigh but a pound two, pound four, pound a quarter probably. Still gonna grab him because I ain't retired this bait in a while. Another pretty one. Sticking to the plan. Just fishing around where I know there's some fish. That was awesome. I don't know why. There's just something different about the dang jerk and plug bite. Something different about it. It's just, it's just different. Spinnerbait bite, chatterbait bite, square bill bite. Those are all kind of similar, you know? Jig bite, flipping bite, even a shaky head bite. Even those are all similar. The jerk bait bite is just a little bit different than everything else. Little bit different. Sometimes that's just what I want to catch them on. All right, got the old tin rig back on the trailer. I don't know who's more ready for me to get my new boat, me or y'all, because the amount of questions I have gotten on which boat brand I'm going with, when's my new boat gonna be here, it's been unbelievable. So I really appreciate that. I know everybody's curious to see which boat I'm gonna get to run next year, but for right now, we'll just run this one. And I'll tell you what, if I could win as many tournaments on the elites as I've won out of this sucker this off season, I'd run this one all year. But we got a new one coming, it'll be here before too long it'll be here in like a week maybe two weeks so we'll be revealing it i appreciate y'all asking questions and stuff i just want to say that don't know which one of us is more ready for it to be here because y'all are dang sure anxious for my new boat it seems like but we've had fun out of this one hadn't we hadn't we had a good time out of this one i believe we had so anyways about to head to the house hope y'all enjoyed that video i really wanted to catch him on a jerk bait went last week caught him cranking pretty good Went today and caught them on jerkbait pretty decent. Didn't catch a whole bunch, probably caught six or seven, but that's what I wanted to catch them on. And anytime you can set out and say, hey, this is the bait I want to catch them on, and then catch them on that, it's a good day because typically, y'all know how bass fishing is. You go fishing, you got 20 rods on the front deck, you never know which one you're going to get a bite on, and you get two bites on this, two bites on that, you end up with six bites all day. Today, I caught that many on the bait I wanted to catch them on, which is pretty rare, but hope y'all enjoyed that video. Signing off now. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see y'all.